Hello everyone, Professor Vaibhav Shah here. Hope you have gone through all of my previous lectures of engineering graphics and also the lecture one, introduction to engineering curves. If not, then before starting this lecture, I insist you to go and check that first to understand the basic concepts and notations to be used. This introduction lecture covers all the basic concepts like what are engineering curves and its applications in various engineering fields, understanding of conics with pictorial representation, classification of engineering curves, understanding of various engineering curves and its definitions and nomenclatures that we'll be using in our subsequent lectures. In today's lecture 11, we'll be learning about how to draw parabola by directrix focus method. If you like my content, and teaching style then share it with your friends and do not forget to like and subscribe to show your love and support if you want to get better and in-depth knowledge about the subject then i would recommend the latest edition of book by author professor p j shah which is the standard book preferred by engineers all over india let us begin so first step by step procedure to draw parabola by directrix focus method as the name says there is one directrix and there would be one focus so in example let us assume that we have given one directrix that means this vertical line dd is nothing but your directrix and focus that means your focal point f1 is given or either in examination your directrix and vertex point would be given so let us assume in this for this procedure we are having directrix and focal point f1 so first of all we'll be drawing one vertical line dd as a directrix and then after identify any point a and draw one axis a a arbitrarily now after that we have to locate our focal point from your given data and after locating your focal point you have to denote the vertex point v1 so understand and remember that vertex point v1 would be at the center of the distance between your focal point and your directrix and it is always at the center point which means that the distance between your focal point and vertex and vertex to your directrix distance would be of a similar dimension because the eccentricity of this parabola is one that says that eccentricity is equal to f1 v1 by v1a which is equal to 1. If the ratio of f1 v1 by v1 a is 1, that means that the dimension of f1 v1 is exactly similar equal to dimension of v1 a. So we will locate this v1 point at exact center of this f1 a line. So after locating this v1, we have to draw one vertical arbitrary line and we have to take our rounder, put your rounder at v1 point and take the radius is equal to v1 till f1 and draw one quarter circle circular r to intersect this vertical line at point b after getting this point b just connect this point b with point a and extend this line on the rightward direction now after that take any random number of parts 1 2 3 4 5 on the right hand side of your vertex point b1 after getting these points you will draw vertical line from this part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 and part 5. After drawing this line, you have to take the dimension on your rounder as 1, 1 dash, the dimension of this vertical line and you will put your rounder at focal point F1 and try to cut this vertical line at this point to get P1 and the bottom this point to get P1 on the same vertical line. Similarly, take the dimension of 2, 2 dash on your rounder as your radius and put your rounder at F1 and try to cut this vertical line of 2 to dash somewhere here to get point P2 on upward direction. Similarly, on the this same vertical line, try to cut this line here to get this point P2. Now, take the dimension of 3, 3 dash on your rounder, put your rounder once again on your focal point and try to cut this line 3, 3 dash somewhere here to get this P3 point and somewhere down here to get this point P3 point. Now, after that, take the dimension of 4, 4 dash on your rounder and put your rounder once again on your focal point and try to cut this line of 4, 4 dash somewhere here to have this point P4 
and similarly you can have this point p4 down there in this line same line now take the dimension of pi phi dash on your rounder put your rounder once again on your focal point f1 and try to cut this vertical line somewhere here to have this point p5 and similarly try to cut this line down here to get this point p5 so these are nothing but the points of your parabola so now in next step we will just simply join this point from p5 p4 p3 p2 p1 v1 p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 by dark smooth line and after joining all these points we will be having this curve on the right hand side figure so let's see this will be your final curve which is nothing but your parabola and this point is nothing but your starting point of parabola and also known as your vertex point so method is very easy so let's see few examples based on the same method so now problem 1 point f is 50 mm from a vertical straight line ab draw locus of point p moving in a plane such that it is always remains equidistant from point f and line ab so this is nothing but the definition of your parabola so if you don't know or if you are still confusing with this statement try to refer my lecture 1 introduction to the course in which you will be having the definition of parabola so this is the statement of your definition of parabola from this statement it is clear that we must draw parabola and for drawing parabola we are having focal point and we have one vertical straight line which is nothing but a directrix ab in this case so let us start with the vertical straight line first as a directrix so we have drawn this vertical straight line as a directrix and let us denote it by a and b and after that we will be finding out any a random point o or a center point o you can say and from this point o you will be drawing one axis so this is nothing but your axis of your parabola now after getting this axis you will be locating this point f which is 50 mm away from vertical straight line ab that means this is your vertical straight line and you have to draw your point f which is 50 mm away from this straight line so let us locate point f somewhere here which is 50 mm away from this straight line so now we have located this point focal point f which is 50 mm away from this straight line now since this is your parabola that means your eccentricity is equal to focal point to vertex distance divided by vertex to directrix distance and here for the case of parabola we know that eccentricity is equal to 1 so we can always write it as 1 by 1 so that means focal point to vertex distance is 1 and here vertex to directrix distance is also 1 that means both the distances are equal so So our vertex point will lie somewhere here at the midpoint of this F to O line. So let us find out the midpoint of this F O line and let us denote this point as your vertex point B. After getting this vertex point, we have to draw four points at the 10 10 mm distance on the right hand side of your vertex point. So let us take four points one two three four, which are 10 10 mm distance from your vertex point. After identifying these four points, we'll be drawing vertical lines from these one two three and four points. and on this line will be identifying points p1 p2 p3 p4 which are required points to generate our parabola now in next step what we will do is so first adjust on your rounder o to one distance so select on your rounder o to one distance go to your focal point and try to cut this one vertical line so we have selected o to one distance on your rounder try to put your rounder at f and try to cut this one vertical line of one here to get this point p1 and similarly try to cut this one line somewhere here bottom you will have this p1 so which is this point is on one line so we will call it as one so now for point number 2 select on your rounder o to two distance and put your rounder once again on your focal point and try to cut this two's vertical line so we will cut above somewhere here and below somewhere here So we'll be having two points, one above somewhere here, and one another point somewhere here. So you can call this point as P two, and this point also as P two because this lies on your two line. Now once again for three point, we'll be taking the dimension on your rounder O to three, adjust on your rounder O to three dimension, put your rounder at focal point F, and try to cut this three line somewhere here and somewhere down here. So let us cut this line somewhere here and down here. 
after that identify these points somewhere here and down here so these points are nothing but your point on third line so that means this must be your p3 point and this is also called as a p3 point now after that final point so select on your rounder o to four distance put your rounder at focal point always you have to use your focal point as your circles center point so now take on your rounder o to four put your rounder at focal point f and try to cut this vertical line of four somewhere here and somewhere down here so we have cut this line somewhere here and somewhere down here so this is nothing but the points of your parabola so now next thing we will just join these points of parabola to get your final parabola so you have to use your pencil dark pencil and you will join these points to get this parabola so in examination it is mandatory that you denote each and every point so you have to write down p2 p3 p4 here and here also p1 p2 p3 p4 and you can also specify the dimension of vertex to direct distance somewhere here in examination to get full marks now let us see one more example so problem 2 construct a parabola having eccentricity 1 with distance between directrix and focus as 70 mm so here it is already said that and is obvious that if you are drawing parabola that means your eccentricity must be 1 with the distance between directrix and focus as 70 mm so here the distance between your vertical line directrix and your focal point f1 is given as 70 mm So as we know, our eccentricity is one. That means your eccentricity E is equal to f1 v1 focal point to vertex distance divided by vertex to direct distance, which is v1 a, which is nothing but one is to one, which suggests that f1 v dimension is exactly equal to v1 a dimension. That means that your point v1 would be at the center of your f and a. As you can see, your point v1 would be at the center point of your f. One and a. So let us start our example. So here, directrix first. Let us draw this vertical line directrix and let us call this directrix as D D. After that, we'll be drawing one axis, horizontal axis of your parabola from your point A. Let us draw one horizontal axis of parabola A A. After that, we'll denote this point F one as it is given that your directrix and focus distance is seventy mm. So from your directrix to focus, you have to identify your Distance 70 mm, and you will locate this point F1 somewhere here, 70 mm away. After getting this point F1, now we locate this V1 point, which is nothing but would lie on the center of this F1 to A line. So let us find out the center of F1 to A line, which would be 35. So you will be getting this point V1 at 35 distance away from your F1. After getting your point V1, you will just simply draw one vertical line, arbitrary vertical line, and you will take out your rounder. Put your rounder at v1 and take the radius equal to v1 to f1. After that, let us draw one quarter circle R to intersect this vertical line of v1 to get this point B somewhere here. After getting this point B, just connect this point A with B and extend this line on the rightward direction arbitrarily. After that, select any random number of parts on the right hand side of your v1, like one, two, three, four, and five. After drawing these parts, you have to draw a vertical line from each and every part. So let us draw a vertical line from one, vertical line from two, vertical line from three, vertical line from four, and vertical line from five. Now, after drawing these vertical lines, what you will do is, this vertical line will intersect this uh, inclined line at point one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and five dash. Now, next step, you have to take out your rounder once again, and you have to select. Or adjust on your rounder one one dash dimension and put your rounder at f one and try to intersect this one one dash line somewhere here and somewhere down here and identify this point as p one and p one. After that, for two's line, let us take on your rounder two two dash dimension. Put your rounder once again on your focal point f one. Try to cut this two two dash vertical line somewhere here. And somewhere down here, and identify this point as P2 and P2. After that, take the dimension of 3 3 dash of this line, and put your rounder once again on your focal point F1. Try to cut your line 3 3 dash somewhere here, and somewhere down here, and give the notation as P3 and P3. After that, from your line 4. 
take the dimension on your rounder 4 4 dash which is the dimension of 4 4 dash put your rounder somewhere here on f1 once again try to cut your line 4 4 dash to get this point p4 here and similarly you will get your p point p4 somewhere here now take on your rounder dimension of phi to phi dash and put your rounder once again on your focal point f1 and try to cut your line phi phi dash somewhere here to get your point p5 somewhere here and similarly you will get your point p5 somewhere down here after getting all these points simply connect all these points by a dark smooth line starting from where p5 p4 p3 p2 p1 vertex point v1 p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 this is nothing but your required curve it is compulsory that you identify each of the point P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 and here also you identify all the points and also you specify total 70 distance which is the given distance in your exam problem. So very easy. So this is nothing but your directrix focus method in which you must be having one directrix and the distance from directrix would be given. So let us see one more example. Draw parabola if the distance of focus from directrix is 60 mm. So now method to draw parabola by focus directrix method is similar to that of the ellipse. So ellipse if you have seen my previous lectures, lectures number 2 to 7 then you can clearly identify this is the same method of the ellipse. The difference is of only ascendicity. In this case ascendicity is 1 instead of ascendicity less than 1. If you are having same example with ascendicity less than 1 that means you have to draw ellipse but here in this case it is said that you have to draw parabola that means you will be using ascendicity as 1. But the method for drawing directrix focus method for ellipse as well as parabola is similar except the ascendicity. So let us start once again. So here draw parabola with the distance of the focus from directrix is 60 mm. So here we must first draw the directrix. So this is your vertical line directrix AB. And after that we will drawing one horizontal line of CC dash which is the axis of the parabola. After drawing this line we have to indicate this dimension of 60 mm which is the distance of directrix to the focus. So from point C to F must be your 60 mm. And after that if we want to locate our vertex point B. So we must find out the midpoint of this line CF to locate this point B. And after locating this point B just simply draw one arbitrary vertical line and now take out your rounder put your rounder at b and take the distance of b to f on your rounder and try to draw a quarter circular arc to cut this vertical line at somewhere here to get this point as point b after getting this point b just connect your point c with b and extend it on the right hand side direction on which we'll be having point 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash afterwards now you have to take any number of random parts on the right hand side of your vertex point B. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. After that you have to simply draw vertical lines from each of the part from 1, from 2, from 3, from 4 and from 5. After that you have to take out your rounder once again. Now put your rounder at 1 to 1 dash. Take the dimension of 1 to 1 dash. Put your rounder at center point F or focal point F and try to cut this 1 1 dash line somewhere here. So you will be having P1 point somewhere here, P1 dash somewhere here. Now take the dimension of 2 2 2 dash on your rounder, put your rounder at focal point F and try to cut this 2 2 dash line somewhere here and somewhere down here to get your P2 and P2 dash on same two line, two's vertical line. Now take the dimension of 3 2 3 dash and put your rounder once again on your focal point and try to cut this line 3 3 dash somewhere here and somewhere here down here to get p3 dash and p3 on same 3's vertical line. Now for point 4 take the dimension of 4 to 4 dash and put your rounder once again on your focal point. Try to cut the same vertical line of 4 4 dash somewhere here and somewhere down here to get this point p4 and p4 dash. Now after that take the dimension of p uh, take the dimension of phi to phi dash on your rounder Put your rounder once again on your focal point and try to cut your line phi phi dash somewhere here at p phi and somewhere down here at p phi dash. So now after getting all these points you have to simply join these points by a smooth dark line. So let us start joining points by p phi dash, p4 dash, p3 dash, p2 dash, p1 dash, vertex point b. 
P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. So this is nothing but your curve, you can see that. So this is your starting point of your curve, which is also known as your vertex point. And this is your generated curve. So that is it. So this is all from my side. I will be putting down the link in description box below. You can go and check at any time to learn any specific topic you want. And if you want to learn any other specific topics or facing other difficulty to understand any concepts, feel free and comment below. I am personally giving attention to each of your comments and will try to reply on your queries almost instantly. Do not forget to share it with your friends and like and subscribe to show your love and support. Keep learning, stay connected, bye-bye.